Greetings Internet, I am Ken from the Computer Clan and today I am going to show you Windows Vista because Microsoft ended the support for it, so I thought I would commemorate it by giving you a brief tour of some of the design changes and new features. But first, let's talk about the guys that helped make these videos possible, like Full Sail University. I bet you're watching this video right now on a website or mobile app. Well, guess what? A lot of industries rely on those technologies, so why not consider a career in one of them, or both? Full Sail University offers undergraduate degree programs in software development, website development, and mobile development. They will give you a laptop, and you will be using the same tools that professionals use. So get started and learn more about these great programs by visiting this link, which is available in the description. Alright, now it's time for the tour. So a big feature that Windows Vista introduced was the Desktop Window Manager. This enabled the system to draw certain effects on the screen, such as the new arrow interface, which had gloss effects, blur effects, and this kind of translucent glass look throughout the system. Window previews were also accessible via mouse hover in the taskbar. And if you wanted to quickly find something, you could search it in the Start menu. Vista also introduced gadgets, which lived over in this sidebar. They could be customized, rearranged, and you could add and remove some, and even download third-party gadgets. Although Windows Defender was updated in the Windows 10 Creators update, it all started here in Windows Vista. This program was to help with security of your PC. Another feature that generated a lot of excitement but was short-lived was Windows Media Center. This feature was bundled with a certain special version of Windows XP in the past, but now it was built into the system if you purchased an edition that had it. This interface worked best with full screen, and it could run on a TV so you could plug in a PC to your television and your living room would be a media center all of a sudden. You can go through pictures, TV shows, and even music, all from one full screen beautiful interface. Internet Explorer 7 introduced tabbed browsing and other features like RSS and Atom support. I can't show many websites with this because, well, they don't really work with Internet Explorer 7 anymore. Vista came bundled with many new programs, such as Windows Calendar. Another built-in program was DVD Maker. You could take all of your personal media, your photos, your videos, and publish them to a DVD which was playable on a television. You could even customize your own menus. Windows Mail was the built-in email client which replaced Outlook Express. This program came with junk mail and phishing filtering features to help keep users protected from unwanted messages. Vista also allowed you to speed up your computer using a USB flash drive and the new ReadyBoost feature. And to keep people from unwantingly opening malicious files on their computer, Microsoft introduced the user account control, which is still in the system to this day, but it has a little more flexibility. Although Vista didn't receive, initially, the greatest feedback from the community, it got better with time, and a lot of stuff it introduced is still used and upgraded today. We have other videos on Vista, and even some of the beta software like Longhorn, so feel free to check those out. So there you have it guys, a quick tour of Windows Vista. 